black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? Welcome to my parents' crib out on the lake. Maybe I'll do a video where I show you this, but today it's full vlogger mode. We're gonna go into the kitchen. We're going to do, it's another, you know what? I'm craving an omelet, okay? Keeping it keto, keeping it nice and uh, sugar-free, pretty much carbless. But it's another let's go in the fridge episode. They have a nice fridge. And we're gonna get things. So what are we gonna get? Let's figure it out. All right, so we need, those are keto buns by the way, but we need eggs, of course. They go here, hello eggs. What else did we get? We get um, some leftover chicken, why not? Little chicken, you put the mom in the kids. That's the thing that happens, okay. And then, what do we do? We get cheese of some sort. Nice, we got a cheddar matzo blend or whatever. That's cool, that's nice. Why am I pointing you over there when I'm in here? Hello. Do we want any other cheeses? We have hot dogs, and no, we don't want hot dogs. You know what we do want, ooh, some old. Maybe I'll put some old in too, just because I really want that. A sharp a flavor. Oh, I tell you what, we're definitely gonna need some salsa. So let's pull the salsa. We're also gonna need sour cream. That's 100%. I think we're gonna go like southwest on this. Ayo, garden fresh, uh, green onions. Hello. Let's do that. And we got peppers. So we got a green pepper and another bag of peppers. We'll put a little pepper blend in there. Why not? And hello, saucies. Okay, we need to get a knife. So we come over here. What's up? Stab, 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 kill. And then we go. Oh, that was loud for a bit of a sausage. Probably don't even use the whole thing. And I think at this point, we're probably good. Hi. All right, pro tip. If you don't want to cut yourselves to death and you're going to put a cutting board down, get a cloth wet. Like this, just a little damp, squeeze it out. Pop her down. Try to get it, you know, surface area. And then you put your cutting board on that. For less movement when you're cutting. Finally, I have a nice knife to work with. Absolutely crucial. Shitty knives are how you get hurt. But we're gonna prep couple things and so we got a prepping bowl for where everything's gonna go all right so we have our cutting items and our little dumping bowl so whatever I'm not gonna need much I literally need a piece of everything so that can just stay as such but we go I love the fact that we're in natural light we go ahead and we kind of just julienne right you know what I mean some nice little strips Strippies. Yes, I'm wearing a Seinfeld t-shirt. It's the summer of George. All right, and then we come, we bunch, get our claw together, and we go nice, small dice. Bing, bang, boom. Put you in your room. How are we gonna do this? The easiest way would be Lengthwise, ooh, there's cheese in it, hello. And then we just, same thing, julienne strips. All right. And once again, I like everything really cut up nice and small into the omelet. We're also gonna saute all this in a pan, so there's that too. I want one more strip. It's not enough. It's not enough meat. That looks kind of looks crazy with the cheese in there, but it is a oh, what it is. Come on, you mother. Let's go. I almost swore, but I didn't, guys. Because YouTube doesn't like swearing. 
because YouTube doesn't want you to be yourself. They'd rather you be a little robot, a good little robot, just like society wants you to be a good little robot. Stay in, you know, keep it friendly, keep it family, keep it PG. Don't be yourself completely. But at the same time, YouTube wants you to be a good little robot. But at the same time, I got to shout out YouTube for, it lets you break out the box, right? It lets you potentially live your honest truth as an entrepreneur, more like independent of yourself. And you... Hello. And you, you know, it gives you that creative opportunity. So, I mean, in a sense, shout out YouTube, but at the same time, it's like, oh man, let a man live. Like, let a man just be his true character, speak how he speaks. There's something about swearing, I feel like, it's just the emphasis on the, like, it just emphasizes certain points. Like, I feel like when you drop a good F at the right point, it just really gets the point across, if you know what it means. So, anyways, what am I rambling about? Hope it's entertaining enough while I'm cooking, or not even cooking yet, just basically we're prepping. We know this about me. That's what we're doing. Hope you guys enjoy these uh, these knife skills. I know it's kind of hypnotizing. I feel like that's the thing that people love about these cooking videos is knife skills. When somebody's good with a knife, there's just something cool about it. I know, I know what you mean. Like before I was good with a knife, I would always watch people who were good with knives and be like, wow, that's That's nice, that's truly a thing. It also makes, to be honest, like when you have these skills, it just makes your cooking life so much like more enjoyable. It's like everything is, you just feel in control. It feels quick, like, feels like you're not wasting a gang of time just like beating around the bush. Why'd you have to fall apart on me? Please don't do that ever again, thank you. But you know what I mean? It just feels like you have this quick, full control over a thing. And also it's like, not, none of this has to be perfect either, right? Like we don't have, we're not, this isn't the French laundry or anything. So, come over here. And we just mix it up with the hand. We don't need, we're not fancy. We don't need a spoon or anything. So yeah, it's beautiful, right? Look at that. Nice little medley of things. And we're gonna go over there to the stove, to the pan. Okay. All right, y'all, I found what looks to be like two good pans for this. So what do we do? We crank her onto medium where we saute. We just hit it with a, oh, that's a lot of oil. That's way more than I wanted, but. Yeah, that's fine. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We take our ingredients and we saute. <laughs> yes, come on now. Yo, Basquiat, that's art. All right, and so while that sizzles away, what do we do? We come in and we, we get it cracking. We crack it with some A's, there you go. I don't know, that looks very weird in digital world, but you know what I mean? We just, it's a one bang and a go. It's the thing about eggs, people, commit. Commit to your crack. That way you don't get the sh stupid shells. If you get all wussy about it, that's how you get the weird breakage. If you just crack in, everything is clean. A lot of people are too nervous with their eggs. And yes, I'm going big boy today. I'm going with four eggs. That's a four egg omelet. We gotta spin that up. So I don't know what you guys, but for me and my eggs, I like to hit it with either milk or cream. Cream pr preferably, that's what I have here. It just gives it a, like, a fluff that can't be achieved without it. Yes, I know the fridge door is open, I'm wasting power, I'm wasting energy. First world problems, we need to count our blessings guys, that's another thing in this life, we need to realize that if you live in the West, you're kind of blessed. You know, gift and a curse a little bit, but at the same time, it's like so much privilege. I get to make this meal even right now, so. Let's just remember to be thankful for what we have. I oftentimes get in my head way too much about 
you know what I want and what I don't have. So that looks creamy. Wants eggs without a little salt. Yes, you can just season the mixture. A little pepper, why not? All right, we are on true saute. And if I'm telling you one thing is this spatula is nice. But look at all those fats and moisture rendering out of the meat, moisture coming out of the veg. Very, very nice. Very into it. Loving it, loving it, loving life. Being Chef Boy on me. And you know what? It's to my taste, it's to my liking. It doesn't have to be for anybody else, it's all me. All right. So we will put this on a very low setting. I want it to get like low and slow heat. This omelet is gonna take time. That's the thing about omelets, at least for me, for like a perfect flip, is just be patient, it takes time. We'll get to it though. All right, let's make less dishes. We come in, we need some butter. We just use the same spatula. Why not? We come in and we just butter this pan up nice. That's popping away over here, it's smelling and looking delicious. So let, let's let this melt away. Get it completely clarified and melted. Not clarified, but melted down. The butter's all melted out. We got it on really low and that's how I want it. I really want this to go low and slow. And I'll, I'll show you along the way. Well, in the meantime, while that's coming up slow, this is where this ended up. Nice and bubbly, sizzly. Look at that, just a little crisp on everything, a little char, that's how everything's better. Just a little char, a little crisp. That's all flavor. My yard, baby, my yard. All right, you guys, so this guy's working. You can see it's kind of firming up a bit. It's gonna touch the edges. Yeah, the edges aren't, aren't stiffening up yet, so we just continue to let that work, low and slow. All right, see now it's firming up on these edges, right? You can actually, it has the ability to get kind of, we're close to sort of a flip, but we're not definitely not there yet, but see all this liquid here? That's what I want to kind of firm up. And that's why I pre-cook everything, right? I just get everything kind of done for an easy flip. It's kind of an unorthodox way to cook an omelet, but it's my favorite because it kind of guarantees like perfection in a way. I'm actually at the point where I can go in with my things now. So what I do is I spread, I even distribute, even distribution is the name of the game, right? Spread that around. Don't be too aggro about it though, because we are working with a delicate egg. We turn it way down now because we're getting hot, hot. Okay, so even distribution, everything's looking beautiful, almost like a big pancake. And then, ladies and gents, we come in with the cheese. A crucial, most important part is the cheese. So we have the mixed blend, and then I said I wanted some old cheddar in there. You know what, I'm gonna bust it into pieces a little bit. Get once again, even distribution. And then, here's where you're gonna be like, man, you're really, this, this is a lot of effort for an omelet. Next thing we do, into the broiler. We melt that cheese and then we flip. Hello, beautiful. Anytime you're gonna pull something out of the oven that's been in there, always make sure you got your hot cloth. All right, don't burn yourself. But we come, that's loud. But we come out and it's like, guys, get out of Dodge, like get out of town. Look at what we're working with. Now we have to flip. Okay, we'll figure that out. Okay, so now you see, we have that workable edge, right? It's got, it's firm, it's got, it's got, you know, structure to it. So it should just slide basically out. And really from here, you can just slide it to the plate flip came out too early but you know what I mean C 
semi fail, but not really a fail. Still looks amazingly delicious to me. Bottom's a little crisp for my liking, so I'm not used to this flat top. I would go less next time. But I say that looks pretty decent.